Well, Andy, well done. Another victory in Acapulco, but you are having to work really hard for these wins this week, aren't you? Yeah, well, you know, I've, I haven't helped myself. I've started slowly in all of the matches. I've gone down a break right at the beginning. My, my opponents have got confidence from that and um, the sort of conditions that, you know, you really feel like you can swing out at the ball because it's, it's very heavy with the humidity. So I need to try and find a way of starting um, my matches better because, you know, eventually your, your lock will run up um, if you uh, keep putting yourself in those positions. Yeah, it's obviously preferable to dominate matches and see them through in two sets, but in a strange way, is it quite good for you to get through these sort of mentally challenging matches and, and get through them while you're sort of continuing to find your form this year? Yeah, well, you know, you learn the most, I think, you know, not from losses or necessarily winning when you play well. I think when you win and you haven't played your best is when you can learn a lot because you have an opportunity to change some things the next day. And, you know, I, I showed good strength at the end of the second set when he, he served for it as well. So, you know, every match I play now is, is, is important. Um, and yeah, managing to come back from a set and, and a breakdown with him serving for it was in a few tough situations, so it was a good one. And then looking forward to uh, Dimitrov or Gulbis in the semi-final, both of whom possess pretty dangerous weapons, don't they? Yeah, well, I mean, Gulbis has played very well so far this year. He, the last couple of weeks he's won a lot of matches. And uh, Grigor, you know, he's a very talented player. He started the year well, had a, a very good Australian Open, played some, some very good tennis there. Um, and yeah, it'll be an interesting match between the two of them, but a tough one for me tomorrow.